Hey everybody, come on in. It's Thursday night. I'm getting ready to do some salmon and rice and green beans. As you can see, I got my water boiling from my rice. I'm going to make some good old seasoned rice to go with that salmon, buttery seasoned rice at that. So what I'm going to do is cook about a, two cups of rice, a um, pound of green beans, and about a couple pounds of salmon. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get my uh, rice going. I've been on the go all day today, y'all. So this is one of them, another one of my quick meals. It's not gonna take this meal, uh, even with prep time, about 35 minutes. But it's gonna be a nice, healthy meal. Of course, y'all know I cook my rice like I cook my rice. I suggest you cook yours according to the packaging. I'm gonna be doing two cups of uh, long grain Uncle Ben's rice. I'm, I'm back to Uncle Ben's rice uh, again. Um, I don't know. I love Uncle Ben's rice, but I've been cooking um, jasmine rice. I love jasmine rice also. But we're going to do Uncle Ben's. I'm not going um, to let my oil get real good and hot over here for my salmon. I've already seasoned it with some complete seasoning, some um, garlic powder, which I'm getting ready to put on it right now. And I put some, a little of that chicken bouillon uh, seasoning. I just sprinkle it with a little bit of that. Let's get the camera over here to my salmon pan. I'm just going to pan fry it like I always do. For some of my reason, <clears throat> to me it just tastes better pan fry than it does broil. I don't know, that's just me. Uh, this is skin on salmon, so I'm going to start with skin down, skin side down. I hope I can get everything in here at one time. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. That's why I cut that piece there. That's why I cut that. It'll work. So once I get it in there and get it cooking, I'm going to turn that heat down a little bit. It doesn't take that much to cook salmon. Y'all know that. So about four or five minutes on each side, especially that uh, skin side. Now that rice, you know, you start it off in a rolling bowl. And go ahead and turn it down <clears throat> and let it uh, simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and drop me a half a stick of good old butter in there. Yeah. Yeah. Half a stick of butter in that rice. I grabbed the wrong lid, so now I got the right lid. That's the right lid. And then when I do my rice, of course, I turn it all the way down to the low. Now I've got my pan on the back burner there. I'm getting it heated up for my green beans. I think I stuck my hand on the wrong thing, y'all. My camera can be very sensitive. It's being sensitive today because I guess because I haven't used it in a couple of days. So it's really sensitive tonight. I'm going to go ahead and stir this rice up really good. Make sure you stir it up real good so it doesn't stick. Because, you know, of course, starchy food like that will stick. So you stir it up. Put the lid on it. Takes about 15, sometimes 20 minutes for rice to cook. I mean, I got a big old bag. Look at this Sam's Club. You know. Big old bag of Uncle Ben's rice. What's that? 12 pounds. Whew, big old bag of rice. I think I decided to do that this time because I've been buying a smaller bag. So I thought to, today, many times if I get in here and cook a rice dish, and somebody <laughs> left me a little comment and said, is it a cultural thing with rice? Well, with my family, I guess you could say it may be. Uh, my husband loves rice. My daddy loves a lot of rice. I got children now they love rice. So maybe it is a house culture. I don't know. Good be. Okay. On the back burner over here, I'm going to go ahead and get my onions started in it. Yeah, but that's the pad that I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, green beans in. I'll tell you what we can do. I'm just going to switch out here. And I am going to put the rice on that back burner. 
and put my green beans on the front burner. Okay. I just pulled off my driveway. That is so distracting when I'm in the kitchen. Because I'm so nosy. I'll be wanting to know who's in my, who's pulling up. So, start out with a teaspoon of uh, complete seasoning. Oh, I think I, I got my heat wrong. I want my heat. Cook these green beans on high heat. I'm going to wait for a minute or two and get them up on high heat. And while they're, while that heat is being lifted. I'm going to go ahead and start turning the salmon. Maybe a minute or two longer because I want that skin to cook to the point where we can eat it. We don't throw away any food when it comes to fish. So, okay. there goes about half those green beans. <clears throat> a little complete seasoning in there. A little bit of garlic powder in there. And a little bit of that chicken bouillon seasoning. Go ahead and stir that up. Then I'm going to pour in the rest of those green beans. And we're going to see how that works out. Somebody's ringing my doorbell, so let me go see who it is. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Let me. Okay, I just turned that salmon over and get these beans mixed up in here. How about that? A little Rudy Toot Toot. That was Tony and Lisa at the door. I had to go answer the door. I don't guess the boys heard the door there, so whatever. They probably got on the game and the headphones. Okay, let's check that rice. Keep a check on your rice because sometimes it will stick on you. Okay. Mm, like what? I mean, what? Oh, no. I use prescription stuff in my eyes. I don't use regular eye drops. Prescription uh, eye drops for glaucoma. We're going to let this cook. Fish has got to cook another five minutes on that side. We'll be ready to just take it on out of the pan. We'll be done with that. Those beans got another good 10, 12 minutes, and so does the rice. And it'll be done. Like I said, this is one of them quick. I've been going all day. <clears throat> I didn't really feel like cooking anyway. Meals, 30 minutes. So we're going to let it simmer for another 10, 12 minutes, and it's going to be ready for the table. Okay, y'all, the beans are almost there. Just a continuous turning. Keep that heat high. You don't want water in the pan. You just want them to do like a stir fry. You don't want that condensation in there. And remember to taste your food, make sure you're seasoned. Look, look, I need a little bit more garlic in there. <clears throat> yeah, I know that I having some butter. I'm going to put me about a quarter of a stick of butter in there because I started out with just oil. I'm going to put the butter in last so that butter flavor will be right on top there. Mm. 
little bit more of my sea salt, about a half, about a fourth of a teaspoon. I'm getting too salty because, you know, beans absorb seasoning, so you don't want them too salty. I'm going to go ahead and turn that heat off now and the heat from the stove will finish cooking them. And I'm going to drop the butter on it. In about 10 minutes, they'll be edible. Edible beans, y'all. Edible beans. This is one of the quick 30 minute meals. I'm telling y'all, pay attention. You don't want to be in that kitchen no more than 30 minutes when you're tired. This is it. This is one of them quick, easy, breezy meals. Quick, easy, breezy, y'all. Hmm. My rice almost there, but I need a little bit more water. About five more minutes to steam up. I didn't forget y'all. Y'all thought I forgot you, didn't you? Hold on. Okay, y'all. There it is. Green bean stir fry with sauteed onions, some seasoned rice, and salmon. So, listen, this was a 30-minute meal. I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy a plate of this. And listen, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. It was short and sweet, but until I cook again, just keep the prayers going up, y'all, so the blessings will continue to come down. Love you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in with me now. Toodaloo. Show people how to make